Indian Muslim man killed hours after anti-Muslim speech. On January 17th, two Muslim men, Samir Shapur and uh, Shamsir Khan, were brutally attacked in Gadag, uh, Karnataka, India. The men were on their way to a barber shop when they were ambushed by a group of between 10 to uh, 12 Hindu nationalists. The alleged attack came only hours after the accused had delivered anti-Muslim speeches. Members of the Hindu nationalist group Majrang Dal and RSS have had been protesting in front of a local police station in opposition to cases that have been filed against their members related to other recent incidents of communal violence. Both victims were taken to the hospital, but Shahpur did not survive his injuries. Four people have been arrested in connection to the attack. They have been charged with violating eight sections of the Indian Penal Code, including rioting with a deadly weapon and murder. On the national level, several prominent Hindu nationalist figures have called for mass violence against the Muslim minority in order to retain a Hindu majority state. Attacks on religious minorities have risen significantly in the state of Karnataka over the past several months. Um, so this is where um, things get really sad. So um, I thought this was really interesting. A ton of people were sending me this story that they wanted us to cover because um we've been covering a lot about these incitement to violence and genocidal hate speeches that occurred in december and a lot of um, people who are sending this to me are saying like look like we can start to see the effects of this already so a little bit more background is that in um this district there's been a lot of incidents of um like Hindu Muslim tensions and violence over the past few months in particular. And a lot of them have um, occur between um, like college age students. And so there's been all these kerfuffles, there's been violence and um, allegedly the, well, there's footage of this. So members of Bajrang Dal and the RSS were protesting directly in front of the local police station. And in, in front of the police station, they were making open uh, threats, open um, anti-Muslim statements. And um, the police were there. You can see this on camera and they weren't doing anything about it because that is actually against the law. Um, they were saying they were making dehumanizing statements about Muslims um, that I cannot repeat on YouTube. And they were saying that they, meaning the Hindu nationalists or their vigilante gangs, they are the protectors of the police um, from these terrorists and that the police are on their side and all stuff. And no action was taken against them. Um, and then within a few hours, um, there was this attack on these two young men who I believe were around the ages of 19 and 20. Um, I saw some reports stating that Samir might have been singled out because um, they were saying that in these skirmishes between like these college age students, there was um, allegedly this incident where Hindu students were planting knives on Muslim students and that he had photographed this or documented this and then therefore they were like had it out for him i don't know how true that is um and then i saw other statements from his family saying he had no idea who these people were um that this was just random that they decided to attack him um and that there there needs to be more done to prevent this kind of thing um so uh, that oxymoron is saying, so basically these fellows were so frustrated over false charges that they showed what a real crime should be. Very sick. You know, that's a good way of putting it. I, um, do we know, like, I mean, how certain, is it possible that this was not religiously motivated? Just, um, just to be skeptical. I've looked into the story and no one has given me any information about other imagine. motives um hmm. it's either that Anybody... or just a random act of severe violence any hindu for apologists in the live chat want to provide us with the alternative narrative here um no i didn't say i'm yeah i'm not saying randomly i'm just saying like maybe an alternative narrative to what is being discussed how do we know that this the speech was re relevant to these attacks that are after is it just because they were so proximate 
Like, is that's that the part only of reason? it. Yes, that's a very good point that you're making. Um, based on the well, and the fact that um, two at least one or two of the four people who have been arrested um, are actual members of the RSS or Bajring Dal. I can't remember which, um, respectively. Um, so right, they so we're just talking of... likelihood. We don't know for sure, right? Because the yes. correlation. Yeah, that's what, doesn't... every um, news source is just really highlighting. Mm -hmm the the proximity and how quickly this happened and how quickly it escalated and i was also reading another report um that um there is a very interesting um probe that was launched over this incident um by a lot of academics and they highlighted how this is just a reflection of months and years of not taking these incidents seriously so they're basically just kind of allowed to con allowed to get out of hand um so i want to read more into that probe because it was quite lengthy but i was able to get into like the past few months that was really digging into this stuff and it seems like a um, a larger representative of a larger pattern within that area or um a lack of law and order um being implemented by the police all right so i asked for alternative narratives well this is not an alternative narrative by hindu but there's an i'll read the next comment so kiki saying this isn't ran, a random incident it's very targeted attack yeah but i didn't say it's random but it could have a different reason other than the person being muslim right so it could be the reason could be different and okay so here's the alternative narrative just so that we could provide both sides of this right hindu is saying if the victim is muslim it must be religious angle in India as per media. So Hindutva is pointing out that there's a bias um, in the way these are reported. If the victim is Muslim, they must, it must be religious. However, if it's if the victim is Hindu, then there can be various reasons, as you mentioned uh, in the, the other case, the other girl. Okay, so, well, at least you can see that here at Atheist Republic, we do consider alternative reasons, right? Like we didn't we were t this is how it's being discussed right now in the news that this person has been a victim of religious hatred but here we are you know considering the alternative explanation that this might be just because it was happened closely after an anti-muslim speech and just because some of the people that were responsible for this attack were the same people responsible for the anti-Muslim speech? That doesn't necessarily 100% show that this was a religiously motivated attack. Okay, it, there is a chance that this was not. Okay, so and we are highlighting your comment, um, Hindutva, as a way to make sure that we're not being biased here. I mean, we are biased, uh, but we are transparent with where our bias is. Right, we're biased against a religion and dogma, but we're not biased. Uh, against one religion in favor of another, of another, or we're not biased against, we're not trying to like misrepresent what the truth is, right? So that's not the way we're biased. Our bias is I, for the truth. Yeah, go ahead. I do think I'm not, I try not to be biased towards any religion. I do think I am biased towards protection of minorities. Yeah, no, I'm not saying we're not biased. I'm just saying the biases that we have, we're transparent about them, right? So we're biased in favor of the truth we're biased that therefore we're biased against religion <laughs> and also yes we're biased in favor of human rights and protecting minority groups and any other oppressed groups right i so think we are the, yeah. when hindu was saying oh if the victim is hindu then there can be various reasons as when we were talking about this alleged forced conversion suicide issue the difference is that when it came to that case there were multiple other possible motives that were reported on that were given to me. So I, I talked about that. I wanted to be transparent with you guys about those those potentialities. But here, thus far, I haven't been given any alternative. Although, like right. I said, we are being very clear that it's not completely cor correlative. No, um, causative. Yes. Yeah, I mean, there's a possibility. We're just like, mm -hmm. we don't have the alternative hypotheses because nobody has provided it <laughs> like but but we're not saying just because nobody has provided it that means that it's it's impossible for them to exist right yeah uh, oh here even bengali hindu is saying quite probably it was religiously motivated murder right even bengali hindu is saying that it was like 
is usually disagreeing with us over our biases. Bengali Hindu is like yeah. very liberal. Wait, is this the same? Is Bengali Hindu the liberal Hindu? Yeah. Oh, okay, so no, no, Bengali Hindu is not is pretty good actually. Never mind. I thought like, why did you remove the liberal part of from your name? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know you're the same that other guy. Right. Okay. Go. Cool. I was confused. Oh, here, there's another. You want to read this? Um, and do for people are quoting this incident with Kishan uh, Barvad murder. He was accused of blasphemy. I'm not um, familiar we with that We don't know case. if that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, Hindutva is saying, I'm not complaining about you guys. That's how the news outlets here in India sponsors. Um, I mean, you might be correct, but I wouldn't say all of them because my understanding is that a lot of the media news outlet is pro Hindutva, and pro BGP and pro RSS. So maybe you're talking about some news outlets, but not all of them. Right? Well, it's very the different. The 24 the hours news cycle in India right. is reportedly extremely dominated with BJP, BJP influence. The, the landscape is different online. There's a lot more um, um, independent media and uh, leftist yes. bias there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Looking maybe like me. online. Mm, yeah. Yeah. If you're talking about the print or what the other one, the Quint. Quint. Right. Yeah. The wire of the like news minute. Yeah. Well, there, this, those are, some of those aren't as biased. They, they're, yeah, they're, they're more left-leaning, right? But if you're talking about the tw the news, you're right. The the paper in India and the and the TV, these are those are more right-leaning, right? The, um, but online also, the, the right-leaning people they have OP India. That's a huge online one, and they have that in their favor, right? So. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.